All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadas. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, the title of this article is A uh, Syria Threat by Man Child Trump is Most Disturbing Presidential Statement Ever Made. From Galloway, okay. So it says former MP uh, Go George Galloway has called on the U.S. cabinet to imprint Im impeach Donald Trump, labeling him a man child, and questioning the American president's sanity after he promised to launch smart missiles at Syria. Trump took to, to his Twitter account to warn Russia to get ready as missiles will be coming nice and sm new and smart at his ally, Syria. Trump's comments come following a pledge made by Moscow's envoy to Lebanon, Alexander Zashishpi, Zashishkin, Zashishkin, who said that the Russian military reserves the right to shoot down missiles and destroy launch sites in the event of U.S. aggression against Syrian leader Bashar Assad. Po politician turned broadcaster Galloway spoke to RT exclusively about the latest tr threats from Trump. Okay, first of all, the, the tweets from President Trump is undoubtedly the most disturbing statement ever made by any U.S. president and calls into question the very sanity of the person um, issued it. Galloway said, The world is watching and on horror even in the countries Britain and France that have already indicated they wish to join the putative American strike against Syria. We are on the point of what could develop into World War III due to the unhinged juvenile actions of a man-child. Okay, we get this scripture because it said World War Three, Revelation 11 and 14. The second world was passed and behold, the third world comes quickly. Okay. So World War Three, you know, it's about to come real quick, man. Okay. And this is all prophecy. Okay. Continuing on in the article, Galloway went on to urge Washington officials to take matters into their own hands and impeach the out-of-control president. I believe that the U.S. cabinet, which has the power to do so under the 25th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, must now declare that the author of that tweet is no longer fit to discharge their duties and should be removed from office. Russia Donald Trump wrote this tweet. Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming nice and new and, and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. Okay? I'm going to get this scripture. Okay? Because this is the um, premise for um, this whole entire uh, video. Okay? This article and everything. So... This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and uh, 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch because us is uh, the men of the Lord. We're supposed to be watching for World War Three to be coming. Okay? Watching for the things like this. Okay? These type of articles. These type of... Um, this type of uh, com comments and, and um, uh, tweets. Okay? I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I will answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Okay. And that's what it was. The Bible was was um, was written. Okay. And the prophecies that are in the scriptures of what the men of the Lord saw back then. Okay, they was basically seeing things that was happening for today. Okay, 
It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And we come upon that appointed, that appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Okay, and that's what this man um, Galloway is saying that Donald Trump, the soul that's in him, is a is a, a man child. Okay, he acting like a little boy basically. Okay, but the just shall live by his faith. Okay, the men of the Lord we live by the faith, and it's not just talking about Donald Trump, whose uh, soul is not upright in him. That's talking about all. Just even talking about this Galloway guy also, man. Okay, he's uh, Edomites, Esau, okay, yeah, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, and Donald Trump just fits the whole bill of what a uh, proud man looks like, okay, it says, uh, neither keep it at home, and that that's in this scripture, okay, you know, he's not, he not worried about what's going on and uh in America, okay, he's talking about you shouldn't be partners with a gas killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. He's worried about the other things that are that you know going on over overseas. It says who who enlarges his desire is hell. Okay, because if America uh had control over those other countries, okay, they would be they wouldn't treat them people any better, man. Okay, it says, and this is death and cannot be satisfied, but gathers unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. So now all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his. Destruction unto you. How long and to him that laid himself with thick clay to death. Because these missiles, you got to know that they took a lot of money to make them missiles, man. Okay? It says, Trump's alarming tweets were followed shortly after the Pentagon, Pentagon issuing a statement in which, he, which it said it does not comment on potential future military actions and referring questions about the tweet to the White House. One hour after the threatening tweet, Trump shared a softer message about Russia. According to the President of the United States, the fraught relationship between the U.S. and Russia need not be that way. Our, he said, Trump said, our relationship with Russia is worse now than it has ever been, and that includes the Cold War. There is no reason for this. Russia needs to help, need us. He said, Russia needs us to help with their economy. Some, something that would be very easy to do and we need all nations to work together. Stop the stop the arms race. And he said we need all nations to work together. Then that what the, that's what the scriptures that's what the scriptures just say. He 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 gathereth to on, onto him all nations and heapeth onto him all people. So Trump wants everybody to to uh, come together. Okay, but that's not what's going to happen. Okay. Um. Galloway told RT that the chance of an American missile strike seems almost total. Okay, that means almost likely, like it's going to happen. And a Russian retaliation, almost, I mean, equally almost total. So you got to know if America uh, make takes uh, action, Russia is going to take action for sure. The earlier tweet has not been removed or deleted, and therefore it stands. As we now know, this is how Trump con conducts his governmental duties on Twitter. The subsequent tweet does not counter countermand the other one in any other way in, in any way. Of course it is a provo provo provocation, but it couldn't be more deadly in its potentialities. It is certainly causing widespread terror in international public opinion. Okay? And Trump is uh Getting these spirits, you know, roused up, okay? And, um, you know, the American allies are going to turn on it also, okay? So, 
you know, World War Three is almost here, man. Okay? And Trump is already in the spirit, man. Ain't okay. You the type of person that puts that button, man. Okay? But with that, man, we almost out of here, man. You know? I just wanted to do that lesson. And um, I just want to uh, say, uh, I'm going to get this scripture to end it. Habakkuk 2 and 7. So they not rise up suddenly that bite you and awake that shall vex you. And thou shalt be for booties unto them. And that word booty or booties is a spoil. Okay? A spoil. And America is going to be spoiled. Okay? Because it says, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall, shall spoil you. Because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Okay? So, you know, America is about to get cut off. Okay, which America is Babylon the Great. Esau is going to lose his power, man. Okay? So with that, man, I want to say uh, Salawam.